Hey y'all, welcome to season two of Yellow Texas. We are back at it again with another year of everything great about the Lone Star State. I'm your host AC and this week we are kicking things off a little bit different. So every once in a while we like to show some love to the other 49 states. You know we are a Texas travel show for Texans and we know sometimes on rare occasions, y'all explore more of the world. So when we were invited to cross the New Mexico border and connect with a handful of Texans along the way, we figured, why not? So hang on tight as Yellow Texas heads to the resort town of Rio Doso. Just a few hours north of El Paso, this whimsical town known as the Land of Enchantment serves as a launch off point for a ton of area attractions. We finally made it to New Mexico and y'all, Upper Canyon Lodging Company, they hooked it up. I mean, it only makes sense to unplug and get in that rustic state of mind by staying in the proper cabin, but in this case, for us, we're staying in a treehouse. With over 100 options to choose from, whatever you need, Upper Canyon Lodging has accommodations no matter how big or small your party. Y'all, I love this place already, but we do have some exploring to do, so I'm going to get dressed and we'll make our way. So I am in front of Inn of the Mountain Gods, New Mexico's premier casino and resort. And one of the cool things about New Mexico is the thriving Native American culture. In fact, both the casino and resort are owned and operated by the Mescalero Apache tribe, which helped transform Rio Doso into the destination spot it is today. A lot of the people think that this is just this building of uh, concrete, steel, you know, glass, that kind of thing, but it's not. When the tribal council decided that they wanted to build a new inn, they wanted elements about who we are as Apache people put into it. So for example, the circle drive when you come in, that's actually an example of a war shield off of Chief San Juan. If you come in the, the grand hall, the great hall, you'll look at it and the room gets bigger as you go. Yeah, I noticed that. Right, so that represents your childhood, your adulthood, your adulthood and your old age. We actually try to keep a simplistic kind of life, especially in our culture, and I think a lot of people are drawn to that. Laid back but luxurious, refined but rustic, Inn of the Mountain Guides really does have something for everyone, including a casino. Well, first of all, we're the southernmost table games in New Mexico. Uh, we have all kinds of games, new versions and old versions, some favorites of people. We also have a new enclave room where they can have their favorite adult beverage in there and play their favorite slot machine. Okay, so this place is popping right now and it seems like there's a lot of people that come in and out of this area. So how many people do y'all normally get on a regular basis? We can probably get about four to 5,000 people in, in, on any given day, just depending on what we have going on, the seasonality of it. And about 80% of our clientele is from Texas. Really? Yes. Okay, so we come to the right place. And it's their home away from home. Thank you so much, cheers. Okay, okay, okay. I know I have an early call in the morning, but there's not a chance that I'm gonna pass up a good cocktail and some gambling. And I see Loteria, wish me good luck. <laughs> After a great introductory day of Rio Doso, it was time for me to stop while I was ahead. Woo, 73 cents, y'all. <laughs> and call it a night. Good morning! We have a full day ahead. We're actually heading to the ski resort to see what that's all about. I am actually dying to get up in the hills and spend some time with nature, but we gotta have a healthy breakfast first, right? The most important meal of the day is by far the first meal, which is why we're starting at Sacred Grounds. Just do a coffee of the day and the New Mexico Scrambler. Sounds delicious. Nestled in between the cool pines of the Sacramento Mountains, Sacred Grounds has everything you need to fuel up for the day. Oh my goodness, if I could start my morning off with this every day, happiest person ever. Oh, it's going in. And now that our stomachs were full, it was off to our next destination, Ski Apache.
Okay, I know what you're thinking. Why are you heading to a ski resort when you can obviously tell that there's no snow on the ground? Well, it just so happens that there's plenty to do at Ski Apache, including some of the most epic zip lines in the entire world. Y'all, I'm so excited. <laughs> Located near Rio Doso in the Sierra Blanca Mountains, also owned and operated by the Mescalero Apache tribe, Ski Apache Wind Rider Zip Tour has the highest starting point in the entire world. Well, 11,500 feet, you know, it's where the world's highest zip line. The first span is a full mile. You know, you can actually speed up to 70, 65, you know, you can control it. Well, if uh, my zip line is anything like my driving, then I'll probably be going like 50 miles per hour. <laughs> it's, all, it's all up to you. Of course, safety is important here. So after a quick instructional, we were off to the skies. All right, so this is how it all works. We get into the gondola, we ride it all the way up 11,000 feet, and then we zip line down. Ah, I'm excited! And when you're hanging on a steel cable at 11,500 feet high, there really is no turning back. All ready, whenever y'all ready. <laughs> okay, three, two, yo! That was awesome. Ah! <laughs> I can't believe this is my job. <laughs> Stick around more Yolo, Texas and Rio Doso, New Mexico. That's ahead. Welcome back to Yellow Texas, where we are visiting our neighbors and fellow Texans in Rio Doso, New Mexico. And for our next stop, we're taking a bite to eat at a local favorite with a Texas tie. Okay, gang, so this is Tina's Cafe. And let me just say, I'm already falling in love with the rustic vibe here. It feels so homey. But I also heard that this is the best place to learn about the New Mexican cuisine. And I'm hungry. The green and red chilies are the highlight of each dish. Something I want you to try here. This is our green chili chicken puff pastry. Oh my goodness. This is unique to Tina's Cafe and it features Tina's green chili cream sauce. Oh, perfect. Okay, and I want to warn you right away, eating at Tina's is a marathon, not a sprint, okay? <laughs> I've got some great other stuff for you to try. Enjoy this. Perfect, thank you. All served and cooked to perfection. Oh 10, 10. The green chili sauce is nice and creamy with that flaky pastry and the meat right in between just, oh my goodness, it all ties together so perfectly. And with lunch behind us, it was off to the great outdoors. And what better way to get the lay of the land than with a Texas native at Happy Hiker. I did grow up in Texas. I grew up in, in Austin and enjoyed the Austin atmosphere for many years, but I was also a coach and teacher, and coach and teachers have to move. So hey. we're, we're Texas folks, and uh, <laughs> my wife and I played a game. It was, if we lived in this town, what would we do? And, and could our kids come and visit us? Right. And Rio Dos was just the best fit. I'm excited. That's great. And I don't know if I'm supposed to hook them because I'm from <laughs> Austin. I, I got two daughters at Lubbock or whatever, but uh, we, we do love Texas, and, uh, but Rio Dos is our new home. With over 280 trails to choose from, Happy Hiker will get you set for what's ahead of you. All right, so we are at the head of Perk Trail, four miles round trip of what's supposed to be some pretty cool terrain. So, got my water and my walking stick. Let's hit the trips. After spending some time with Mother Nature and really taking in that spectacular scenery, you can truly understand why they call this place the Playground of the Southwest. Our third day in New Mexico takes us to see even more of the beautiful region. With miles of trails, Rio Doso is the perfect staging area for a day in a saddle. Today we're going to be uh, going around Grindstone Lake, which has um, 
18 miles of trail and it's, um, it's a combination of a cross country trail and a hiking trail. So we're going to be encountering uh, natural obstacles. Uh, there's going to be some, it's all single track, so it's a little tight and that's what makes it really exciting and, yeah. um, and very, um, you almost feel like you're in a backcountry type setting. Okay. So it all from the convenience of within just a few miles of the center of town. Where are you originally from though? El Paso, Texas. Yeah, yeah. Texans. All right. All yeah. right. <laughs> You got your lesson, looks like you got your gear. Yes. About ready to get out and check out the trail. I'm a little nervous. Don't be, this is a beginner trail that we're gonna start you off on. Okay. A few rocks along the way, but anything that looks a little too challenging, don't be afraid to uh, just step off to the side of the bike on the uphill side. Got you. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm ready, let's do okay. this. From beginner to advanced, there's a wide variety of mountain bike trails with more pathways added every year. It's no wonder why Rio Doso is quickly becoming a mountain bike mecca in southern New Mexico. All right, Woo, that was an adrenaline rush and a nice little workout too. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be sore tomorrow. But our next stop is somewhere where I get to relax a little. So I'm going to head back in. In need of a little R&R, &R, then you've come to the right place. All right, so I'm standing in front of Sanctuary on the river, and after a bike ride like that, I am so ready to let loose and unwind. So, who's with me? Located in the beautiful village of Riodoso, Sanctuary on the River takes a holistic approach to overall health by using healing and rejuvenating treatments to pamper the mind, body, and soul. We always say we, because we are an inspired living center that we can take care of you in just a myriad of ways. And of course the spa, we have massage therapy, facials, uh, we do a lot of wet treatments, body wraps. And of course, our newest thing that we've added this year is our soaking tub room that you got to see earlier. Wow. Yes, it's quite <laughs> lovely. And we just added a hypnotherapist and she works a lot with pain management and smoking cessation, a lot of great things. This is Rhonda Allison's line. It's a rosemary herbal cleanse. It's very good for the skin. It will help moisten everything. Oh, we use a lot of the doTERRA essential oils and essential oils, of course, have such healing capabilities and combined with massage therapy, it's just, again, essential, not to play on words there, <laughs> but it's very important for healing. That was exactly what the doctor ordered. I always love a good aromatherapy, but you know what I find really relaxing also is retail therapy. Let's go. Stay with us as our trip to Rio Doso, New Mexico continues right here on Yellow Texas. Welcome back to Yellow Texas, New Mexico edition. And we're picking up right where we left off in Rio Doso and who's up for some retail therapy. So this is the Midtown District in the heart of Rio Doso. Here you'll find a wide range of locally owned shops. So why don't you say, let's go take a look around. The Rio Doso shopping experience offers visitors a wide variety of unique specialty shops, souvenir boutiques. Wow, so if you're a Texan and you're not used to the altitude, <laughs> this one can help out. <laughs> Absolutely. I like to think of it as a cure-all. And art galleries featuring paintings and jewelry. Oh wow, that is a nice piece. Would you like to try it on? I would. How's it look? All crafted by local craftsmen and artisans. Um, I wore the wrong attire apparently. Yes. <laughs> yes, you did. But how long have you guys been around? Um, I was logging in the forest and saw this gentleman doing it on the side of the road and I thought that might be a good uh, thing to start doing and that was years ago. My friend said it would last about six months and now it's been 25 years. And Holy moly, so how long does it take you to create uh, one? Carve 10 one. to 15 minutes. No way. Yes. 
All right, I'm going to put you to the test. All Twi right. 10 to 15 minutes, we're going to put a timer on the clock and we're going to see you in action. That would be fine. All righty. Bet. Looking for a simple pleasure to make your long day even better? Riodoso has some great beverage options, including a one-of-a-kind winery to satisfy your every need. So this is Noisy Water Winery, wines that taste so good. These guys have won a ton of awards, but what makes it so popular is that these grapes are made right here in the state of New Mexico. We're gonna jump into something way outside the norm. One, because you're here in New Mexico. Right. So we have to do green chili everything in our state. <laughs> so we do a green chili wine. Okay. I am mind blown right now that I'm about to drink a green wine. Y you have to. It's the number one that we get people like, we have to force people to try it. Whoa. <laughs> okay, totally not what I was expecting from the smell and from the, the look of it. That is a really good wine though. Well, thank you. From red to white, sweet, sparkling, fortified, and infused, you know each bottle is produced to perfection. Our final day in Rio Doso begins in the heart of Capitan on a two-acre historical park devoted to none other than the world-famous Smokey Bear. So, really cool fun fact, did you know that the Smokey Bear character that we all know and love is actually real? Yeah, okay, he didn't talk or anything, but the whole concept was based on a real-life bear cub that was rescued from devastating fires. Now they have a whole entire museum dedicated just to him. In the museum, we have a North American black bear exhibit, uh, and that's what Smokey was, and this is about the age he was when they found him. So we like oh, to wow. show children as well as our visitors of what he looked like when he was found. Smokey Bear is very popular and he is one of New Mexico's biggest treasures and we are proud of him. We are not done yet. More from Rio Doso, New Mexico after the break. Welcome back to the show where Yellow Texas is taking on the Land of Enchantment, also known as Rio Doso, New Mexico. Next, we head to a museum made famous by the legendary Billy the Kid in Lincoln County, considered by many to be the most authentic Old West town in the United States. So this is the very cool and very historic village of Lincoln. Hard to believe that this once was declared the most dangerous street in America. Yeah, so if you're a history buff or if you're into westerns, this place is a must visit. Today, when you take a stroll down the main road, instead of seeing outlaws, you'll find gift shops and museums documenting the history of the region. So Lincoln, New Mexico is the best preserved Old West town in the entire country. Um, hands down. It has not changed hardly at all since the 1880s. Really? So all the buildings in town and uh, the historic site, we have 17 historic structures in town that you can go around and look at and every single one of them has some connection to Billy the Kid and the Lincoln County War. So uh, this is the historic Lincoln County Courthouse and among other things this is where Billy the Kid made his famous last escape in April of 1881. So shooting two deputies on his way out of town. Man, so, ruthless man. Yeah, he, he, well it was either, <laughs> either them or him so that's, that's what he thought at the time. So we finally made it to our final destination here in Rio Doso, and let's just say this one is gonna be a doozy. There may be a gunfight or a horse ride in the near future. Right, bud? Voted the number one tourist attraction in all of New Mexico, Flying J Ranch has been entertaining guests for over 30 years. We give people uh, an evening in the West. It's a uh, way to get away and get back in time and uh, we want to take them back in time with the food, the music, the property and our characters. Here they celebrate the history and tradition of the great American West with ranch style dinners, There's more. There's more. <laughs> western music, and one of a kind wild west experience including their very popular gunfight. 
The show is going on right now and I have some props because I'm actually going to be a part of it. So, waiting. If you're a fan of wide open spaces, spectacular views, and a whole lot of history, Rodosa, New Mexico is a literal playground <laughs> with mountains, deserts, and forests all waiting to be explored. It's no wonder it's called the Land of Enchantment. I cannot believe that our time has come to an end on this amazing trip. You know, with all the Texans out here, it kind of felt like a home away from home. Want to give a huge shout out to Discovery Adoso for bringing us out here. Our trip was exceptional. You know, it's going to do it for us here on the show. Remember, it's a big world, so get out and explore it. You know what they say, you only live once, Texas. We'll see y'all back home. Ready to explore New Mexico? Plan your Riodoso vacation now and learn about the places you've seen on the show by visiting discoverriodoso.com. Whee! Uh, the GoPro fell. <laughs> the old cowboys wear boxers or briefs. Depends. <laughs> yeah. 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 Good job, y'all. <laughs> Woo!